Good day and welcome to my garage. This is my 12 24 volt battery charger. <clears throat> it's years old, it'd have to be uh, 20, maybe 30 years old. It's that old. It's that old. I've had to put new deep, um, signage on here <laughs> because it all fell off, wore off. But um, yeah, it's a very reliable um, battery charger. It's, it's uh, the problem with it is this ammeter is showing about uh, 10, 11 amps. And it's, it's not even plugged in, let alone hooked up. So I'm going to uh, see if I can change this this out. I've got to get it out first. Very simple. Big transformer in the middle. A um, probably a bridge rectifier of some sort down the bottom here on a heat sink. That's what it looks like. Okay, and the end made is held in with one little, one little screw. And that's the end of it. It's soldered in, so I'll have to uh, get a soldering idea. Okay, I'll find the soldering iron. I tried to find another amp meter, or amp meter, uh, the same size as this one, but I, I couldn't find one. They were all a fa fairly, fairly big, which didn't matter. I could have cut a new face out, new hole in the face, I should say, in the front panel. Could have cut a new hole in the front panel here or made a little box and mounted on the outside but it doesn't matter <coughs> I've um, and plus it would be a, at least a week out before I could get a, anything delivered or I've got to go 20 k's 15 k's to a electronic shop see if they've got something so I thought I'll just pull this apart because I knew the needle was still connected just wasn't going back to zero and I thought oh, maybe maybe something's in the way bent I don't know how it would get bent but still I thought I'd uh, that was the face was only that way actually the face was only taped on so I cut the face off very quickly and I noticed the decal was distorted and that's why the needle wasn't returning so I've been on the computer and I've made another made another decal Um, so what I'll do now is I'll get some tape and tape this on onto the 
meter. So let me set up for that and I'll bring you back. I will be taping this decal on, onto the um, thing. You know what I mean. Even the zero lines up. How about that? Um, so now this goes on, and it was only taped in position also. There we go, new face. Well, new decal. Fit that up and see what happens. Good. That's good. I can put this back together now. What I like about this, I've got a a modern day charger, electronic um, charger, does all wonderful things. But if that if that battery is dead flat, the new charger won't even look at it; just ignores it, acts as if it's not there at all. One thing good with these old charger chargers, which is just a a transformer. That's it. A bridge rectifier and a couple of switches. That's it. There's no voltage sensing or anything like that. Just a straight up transformer. It don't care about that battery. If the uh, that battery, if the battery's dead flat, it will just continue to try and pump in as much power as it can. Which is good because at times I've needed to uh, just just do that. My wife's um, uh, electric scooter. I have two batteries, two 45 amp hour batteries in that. We haven't used it for uh, two years, and the batteries were flat, dead flat. The genius starter, uh, the genius charger, wouldn't look at it. Just it totally ignored those batteries. They were too flat for it. Stuck it on this thing on and off for four days. They, they're as good as gold. Well, they're probably not as good as 100%, but but they're holding a charge. I'm getting we're getting a good ride distance out of them. So better than about a hundred dollars a battery, and there's two of them. All right, this project's finished after I button it all up again. See you on the next project. Just <clears throat> after I fixed the screen there, the uh, the negative terminal fell to pieces, lost the spring. So I bought another. I bought a pair of red and black. I'm just replacing the black one.
that's the new face plate and now now the instrument gauge works before it was only going about a quarter of the way but now that's um, that needle can fully deflect it was just a warped um, card in there okay I'm in business. Catch you later.